Good morning, everyone. It is time to get the show on the road. And what better way to get the show on the road than to start my morning with my exercise. Here we go. It's getting easier. Let's count the steps, shall we? How many steps do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Twenty-four. Twenty-four steps. <clears throat> It is getting a little bit easier. Good morning, John. Morning. It is getting a little easier. It's not as bad. Legs aren't hurting. Hey, you know what? Rocky didn't become the champion of the world without running up the Philadelphia Art Museum steps, right? Uh, heading down. A little overcast this morning. You know, people say, ah, let me get this around. You guys can see what's going on. There's what people say. Oh, you go diving in the rain? It's not raining underwater, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, puppies. What are puppies this morning? Hi, ah, puppies. Morning, puppies. All right. <laughs> Even here, dogs are all warm roaming around even if you see a dog roaming around somebody owns them dogs same way with the cats if you see a bunch of cats somebody owns them cats so <clears throat> ain't bad a little clear morning <clears throat> little little uh cloudy up there but i think it's going to clear up so. all right guys let's get this show on the road Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that dive. 
Um, some people like the dives, some people don't like the dives. That's what makes this channel great. It's a little bit of entertainment, a little bit of fun for everybody. Uh, you know what, when I go diving, I wear like a half suit, kind of like what I'm wearing now. It's like a shorts and a short sleeve shirt. And uh, first dive, I got a little bit too close to the coral, as you can see. Uh, it's a soft coral, doesn't like to be touched, but that's what it does. It gives you a nice little rash like that. I was told vinegar, uh, lemon, lemon juice, calamansi. Either way, I'm gonna put it on or does itch. Uh, but yeah, we did two dives today. <clears throat> One of the things that I wanted to do, what I wanna see while I'm down here, is I wanna see an octopus. I haven't seen an octopus yet. And I wanna see a seahorse. So those are the two things that I wanna see. Our second dive, we did what was called a muck dive. Pretty self-explanatory. The ocean floor is just kind of murky and mucky and sandy and there's not much coral around. There's not big, beautiful fish around, but that's where they said you can find these um, seahorses and, and octopuses. So that's my goal. I got three weeks to accomplish that. Um, so yeah, that was fun. And you know what? A lot of people were saying uh, about the last video I put about, up about um, that resort, La Laguna Villa and being expensive. Well that is where your upper class stay. Uh, I guess it's the best way to explain it. Some people are saying, ah, it's empty, it's empty. I'm gonna tell you something right now. According to the management, this is this week coming up is um, Chinese New Year. They said they are 90% booked. Now, I only showed you the upper, I guess, scale rooms. They do have rooms there that are a little bit cheaper, but those were the upper, upper scale rooms and they're booked, nine, over 90% booked, he said. Uh, remember guys, there are people here in the Philippines with a lot of dinero, a lot of money. <laughs> Not everybody here is, uh, uh, I guess, like you would say middle class. Uh, there are people here with money that come out of Manila, Makati, BGC. Um, so yeah, uh, but yeah, too rich for my blood. Um, nice place and like some of you said too rich for your blood but then again remember guys some people think Ferraris are crazy expensive and Porsches are crazy expensive and Rolls Royces are crazy expensive it's all in what you can afford and then again there are uh, luxuries out there as you say as we say that only the upper class can afford. So anyways, it was a great day today, great day diving, had a good time. Um, my leg itches, my leg itches. I'll have to get my uh, full body suit next time so I don't have to worry about that. So anyways, uh, I guess it's just, I guess it's time to eat or having ribs tonight. All right guys, it is time to eat. We're at the pool bar restaurant up here at Jack Daniels. We got some fellas here that want to be in the video. So we'll make our way around. There's Lut. Hey, Hi. Lut. Hello. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Cam. I'm in living in Canada. That's Canada. Three years. Three years. All right. I'm Ian from Australia. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Hendrik from Belgium. From Belgium. All right, all right. Yes, he did. But, but, yeah, no, yeah, but he make a, he made a double ring. Right. If he make a double ring in Australia, that means two times. He make a double ring. Yeah, and here in the Philippines, we have a double ring. Yeah, so he, he only one can do in Australia. He has a lot of Australian dollars there. And he brought some kangaroos with him. Kangaroos. And he sold, yeah, he sold the kangaroos. Now he rings the bell every day here three times. No koala bears. Yeah, koala bears. Yeah, they have no, no. bears. I mean, uh -huh. but he rings the bell three times a day. So come over here. Come stay the day, drink some beers. You only have to pay two or three beers, and oh you get three God. for free. Because the Aussie boy here, that bloke here <laughs> behind me, he ring the bell all the time. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, check it out. 
My ribs are finger licking good. That's what her shirt says. She got the grill going here. Got the ribs on the grill. Get the girls, pretty girls. Pretty girls. Best ribs in town. Are they the best ribs in town? Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll find out, right? <laughs> that looks. It smells really, really good. So yeah, here it is, Jack Daniel's Residence Pool Bar Restaurant. Really nice menu. Food's excellent. I haven't had a bad meal here yet. All right, so here it is. Ribs, baked potato, coleslaw. That looks good. Looks really good. What, what do you think? Uh, it looks really good, but as you see, I'm not a big eater. It's quite big, but let's see. Because I prefer this one too much today. Right. I only have a cereal for a whole day because I know it's big, so I hope I can finish this up. <laughs> How are your ribs, bud? My ribs? Yeah. Uh, first of all, I'm not into food, but these ribs right here, it's very, very good. So if you have, you come here, just try the ribs. Very, it's very, very good. tender and it's yeah. very tasty. Which who else is here? Joy. Oh, yeah. Joy is here. Hi, I'm here again. I'm Joy. <laughs> what is it? Uh, they call this Don Papa. It's, Don Papa. It's made by the Philippines. Philippine rum. This is the first time I ever heard this one too. Philippine rum. But it's really, really good. Too. Yeah, it is. Really? Oh, try Joy. Oh, cheers. cheers. It's a sipping rum. It's very smooth. It's, yeah, it is very smooth. My first time. <laughs> first time. Yeah, Seriously? Serious. Oh, all right. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, let me quick show you the dessert here. It's a chocolate mousse. I'm the only one having one because it looks belly full. Yeah. So, but I can guarantee you it's going to be good. All right, guys, I had to get away from the bar. They got the music playing, everybody's talking, and it's just loud over there. Um, I Those ribs, I'm going to give my review on those ribs. They were amazing. The barbecue on them was good. How they were grilled was perfect. Fall off the bone ribs, finger licking good ribs, whatever you want to say amazing amazing probably one of one of the best ribs i've had here uh since i've been here in the philippines so anyways guys i'm just gonna wrap this one up it's been a long day it's been a fun day and uh tomorrow's a tomorrow's another day tomorrow's another adventure tomorrow is uh saturday saturday yeah um don't know what we're gonna do we're not gonna be diving uh Maybe what I'll do is I will go give you an update because I know there's people that want the update on this. They want the update on the red light district here in Sabang, Portugalera. So maybe tomorrow night I will give those guys that want the update the update. So, all right, guys, we'll talk to you later.